do you think would make a carrot cake taste like carrots? <laughs> That's what my pastry recipes are about. The right amount of sugar and full of flavor. This is the real deal. Yes. Instead of adding crushed pineapple or apple sauce into your carrot cake batter, try this reduced carrot juice. Genius. By the time your carrot juice is reducing, crush and lightly toast walnuts. Go easy, otherwise walnuts will turn bitter. Meanwhile, grease your baking pan and line with parchment paper. Next, shred your unpeeled carrots and set aside. In a large bowl, combine flour, baking powder, baking soda, sugars, salt, orange zest, cinnamon and nutmeg. Now you can add the shredded carrots and add vanilla reduced carrot juice and oil and mix until well combined. Then add the toasted walnuts. Next, pour the mixture into the prepared mold and bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius for about 45 minutes. Let cool completely and for best results, refrigerate carrot cake a couple of days before serving. So far, this will make an excellent vegan carrot cake. Wanna add the traditional cream cheese frosting? It is totally up to you and super easy. Whip cream cheese along with some butter, orange zest, vanilla and sugar. Speaking of sugar, I've looked up online for frosting recipes and guys, I was horrified with the amount of sugar used in most frosting recipes. Think twice before trusting such recipes or you are going to be in trouble. Decorate your cake the way you want, using a pastry bag or a spatula. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this carrot cake episode. To get the full recipe, go to my website www.brunoskitchen.net. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Pinterest. Ciao, ciao.